Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Rai. You guys, peep the smile, like, I'm obsessed. Um, welcome back everybody. If you're new here, my name is Mariah and I am a travel nurse. I do lots of different vlogs and videos showing nursing things, showing travel things, showing surgery things. Like, Go check out all of my videos. I'm very happy to have you guys here. Thank you so much for all of the support. Um, but today I'm gonna be doing a highly requested video on how much you really make as a travel nurse. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, then please stay tuned for more. This video is not gonna take long, I promise you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. You guys know that I'm a travel nurse. You all were obsessed with the how much money you really make as a new grad RN in North Carolina. If you have not checked out that video, go check that out. That's a good one because this is going to be like a step two. So that one was how much you make as a staff nurse. This video is how much you can kind of make as a traveler. And so obviously you guys for like safety reasons and like just normal um, security, I'm not going to be showing you guys like my real pay stubs, like real current pay stubs or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you a pay package that I just got from a recruiter. Um, you can sign up with different agencies as a travel nurse and throughout the whole year, the agencies will be sending you like different um, contracts that are available to you in different cities, different states. And you just let them know like, hey, I wanna do it. Hey, I'm available or no, thank you. That's not for me. Whether it be the pay, whether it be the location, whether it be the shift you can refuse for whatever reason um sorry i'm doing laundry as always and if my voice sounds weird you guys it is because i have covid i'm doing a whole separate video on that so i'm not even going to i'm not even going to talk about it but just know that i'm going through it and it's been a rough week for me but let's just go ahead and get into this. I'm going to attach the pay package here so that you guys can go ahead and see it. And then I'm just going to be looking at it on my phone so I can kind of explain it to you guys what I'm looking at. So the first pay package that we're going to do, this one is saying it's for so specialty. Let's start there. So as y'all can see, I'm looking at the same thing that y'all are looking at that y'all just saw. So the specialty for this one is gonna say PCU. So when the specialty says PCU, that just means that it is a progressive care unit. So that is the type of um, specialty that I do when I travel sometimes. So, and it also too in the contract tells you the shift. So for this one, it would be a night shift position. It's telling you that they're asking for you to work 48 hours every single week. So, you know, we work or 12 hour shifts, so that would be four night shifts. Um, the location is Rapid City SD, South Dakota. That's a random spot, you guys. <laughs> I've never been to South Dakota, but um, this is in Rapid City, South Dakota, and for 48 hours a week, they are offering $3,629. So, yeah, yeah. So I would say I'm, you know, this is my first full year of travel nursing. I would say that honestly, this, these rates are kind of low right now. So I will tell you guys in the summertime rates do tend to decrease. And also too, a lot of the hospitals have taken huge hits from all of the money that they have spent for COVID for the past two years. So honestly, here recently, they are trying to cut back and they are trying to like pay less. Um, so, which is why me, myself, I'm on a break from working right now. So anyways, so for 48 hours, they want to pay you $3,629. So remember when we talked before, I explained to you guys that when you're a travel nurse, your pay comprises of three things, right? So the first thing is your hourly rate. So the hourly rate, the second thing is your housing stipend. And then the third thing is your meal stipend. So all those things go together and that's your check. So all three of those things combined is how you get $3,629 a week, right? Let me just tell you. So this is telling the regular pay for this pay package. 
is going to be $44.80. So that's important to know what the hourly is, is because that's the only thing that you're taxed on. So when it comes to like tax purposes, you're only taxed on your hourly rate. And then the rest of the money, which they're saying your hourly rate for this package will be $44.80. And then your meals, every day you get $64 for meals and every day you get $96 for housing. So that brings your weekly meals to $448, your weekly housing for $672, and then your weekly pay would be like estimated at the $2,509. So that's how you can see like, the top where it says 48 hours equals the 2500 that's for your hourly plus the 1120 that is all of your stipends added up together and that's how you get the $3,629 per week so you guys that right there is how you break down a travel nurse package it's very simple it's not anything crazy literally what you see is what you get now, some agencies will try to play with people's money and they will try to like withhold different things, but that just means that, you know, you just kind of got to do your research and you need to pick a reputable agency to work for because obviously that's not appropriate for them not to pay you what you're supposed to be paid, but there are a lot of agencies out here that are known for that type of thing. For the nature of this video, I'm not going to be throwing agencies under the bus, but just do your homework and find out, is this likely to happen to me if I choose to work with them versus somebody else? Um, so a couple of agencies that I know are definitely good and trustworthy. One would be Aya. They're a really good company to work for. And um, travel, travel nurses across America, I haven't heard anything negative about them. I like them. Um, but those two are super popular super popular but anyways you guys oh and that's another thing i just wanted to let y'all know so there's tax your hourly rate is the only thing that is taxed and then your meals and your housing stipends don't get taxed but you know when you are making more money i just want for you all to keep in mind taxes do go up um so when you start going up in tax brackets you do have to pay more in taxes so that always sucks take that into account um, but the hope is that you find housing within the price range, you know, because that housing stipend $672 a week. I mean, like, I know y'all look at this and you're like, oh my God, it's so much money. But like, you have to also understand as a travel nurse, you have to have like a home where you primary residence. And then you also have to pay that additional housing wherever it is that you go. So it's like, in some cases, it can be lucrative and in, 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 in a way that makes sense and it's profitable. But in certain locations, you guys, with the price of gas going up, with the price of housing going up, these low rates sometimes are not going to cut it. And a lot of nurses are just not really willing to work for less than what they feel they deserve at this point. So it's just something to keep in mind. I really hope that this video helps you guys. Let me give you all one more thing, because I guess maybe y'all are going to be like, oh, well for 48 hours $3,600 that's a rough estimate and then I'm just gonna show y'all one random other one this one says Phoenix Arizona this one is Phoenix Arizona and for this one for a progressive care unit working day shift working 36 hours a week um this one is $2,916 so you know $3,600 for 48 hours. This one's offering $2,900 for 36 hours. In my opinion, I think that it's a little low, but I also think that it makes sense for the season and also to maybe for what their needs might be. But that's just two quick estimates, you guys. For 48 hours a week, you can be in South Dakota making $3,600 a week. Or for 36 hours a week, you can be in um, Arizona making a rough $2,900 a week instead. So I really, really hope that this video is something that helped you guys. I love to, you know, like break things down and give you information on things that y'all ask me about. 
If there are other videos that y'all want for me to make, please leave the comments down in the comment section down below. If you have not done so already, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys, like as always, I will see y'all in the next video. And thank you guys so much for watching.